Hi, this is Christina and welcome back to Bites and Sights. Here's my flight review of my trip from Vancouver to Portland. I once again used my American Express Business Platinum card to gain access to the Plaza Premium Lounge in the US terminal. The food selection was the same like the last time I flew in February. You can make your own toast, serve some pastries and cereal. There was scrambled eggs, sausage, hash browns. I had some of the mixed bean salad, potato salad, and the pasta salad. This time around, I had ample time to explore. It's quite nice because it's newly renovated, however, it is a bit on the small side. The bar was still not open as my flight departed at 8, 10 a.m., which is probably why I look so tired. <laughs> Their breakfast is actually quite solid for an airport buffet. I did not like the mango cake. The red velvet bundt cake was better. It kind of tastes like a chocolate, old fashioned chocolate Timbit, but the glazed icing tastes super artificial. My biggest complaint about this lounge is that there are not enough washrooms. I think there's about four stalls. The last time I was here, there weren't that many people, so I didn't have to wait. However, this time around, there was a line when I was trying to go to the washroom and it was close to my flight, so I just left and used um, and found a washroom that was close to my gate. So my rating of this lounge is that the food is not bad. The customer service is really good. Everyone who works here has been nothing but friendly and super attentive at cleaning tables. It's a small plane that's in a two by two configuration. And I don't think there are business seats. There are preferred seats that are up front, but they, don't look any different than the seats in the back. There was no delay with boarding and we we're quickly on our way. I've been on these smaller planes with the propeller only to Portland and Seattle from Vancouver. I believe they fly at a lower cruising altitude than a larger commercial plane. Just a tip, if you get motion sickness or you're scared of turbulence, make sure you sit in the row where the wings are. The turbulence will be the mildest there. There is no entertainment on board, so make sure you bring your own. The seats are not the most comfortable to be honest. The cushioning could be improved and the seat also doesn't recline very far. Here's the clip of the takeoff. You can skip to the snack service timestamp at any time. This is a short flight of 1 hour and 14 minutes, so as soon as we reached cruising altitude, we had our drink and snack service, which was just regular drinks and a Biscoff cookie. Here are some Portland water views and a clip of the landing. You can skip to the final review timestamp at any time.
seasick, but the cabin crew was super friendly, even though there was just one person. There was barely any turbulence, which was really nice. I booked this flight last minute, so for a one-way economy ticket, I paid $395.46 Canadian. Flights in Canada are expensive in general, and I definitely feel like I overpaid, but in the end, it is what it is, and I had a great trip. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this flight review. In my next video, I will be reviewing my Amtrak's train trip back to Vancouver from Portland. Please check out my other videos like my Portland trip review. Please like and subscribe if you would like to see more of these videos.